Not so fast! How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a Let's Play of the game, Bayonetta for Nintendo Switch. I'm super excited to bring this to you guys because for one, I've never gotten a chance to play this game when it first came out on a different system. But of course, we did have a release of Bayonetta 1 and 2 on Nintendo Wii U and now we have it on Nintendo Switch, which is exactly what we're going to be playing it on. Of course, I want you guys to be advised that this is an M-rated game. There's going to be a lot of things that are not necessarily super family friendly for the younger audiences, so viewer discretion is advised. I'm going to be uh, monitoring the swearing so that you guys are all taken care of. But nonetheless, let's jump on into it. All that stuff aside, let's do it. So here we go. We're going to start a new game. And, uh, yeah, it uses autosave feature. Let's jump on in. Of course, if you guys are excited for it, definitely smash the like button. Uh, as you guys are playing through the game, you can play on very easy, you can play on easy, or, of course, you can play on normal mode. So, I'm excited for that. Let's jump into normal mode gameplay, and let's see how we do. So, there's a lot of story. There's a lot of story into the game, and, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to experience it all. Like, I've always been intrigued by the character. Especially since Super Smash Bros. 4, right? Smash Bros. 4. Bayonetta DLC character. Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the night. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. Pretty cool. So a little introduction. So that's exactly what we're going to do on uh, this episode. Episode 1 is going to be exactly that. It's going to be the um, intro and prologue. Resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended and the Umbra Witches faded. This looks awesome. Pretty epic. Whew. All right, so that's a lot of button mashing, right? If you guys have played any of the Hyrule Warriors games, it's kind of the same thing. Fire Emblem Warriors. I 
I think that the cinematics in this game are absolutely stunning. Alright, here we go. So, you can change uh, costumes with Bayonetta, which is going to be really fun. Uh, so, click on submenu, go to costume change, and they all have something a little different. Uh, we're going to do that. So, as you guys know, from the Nintendo Wii U version, you had access to all the cool DLC, right? So now, I don't know if it's DLC or just tap in with Amiibo. Either way, you can be Princess Peach, which is awesome. So instead of doing like the wicked weave, like with the hair for like punches and kicks, it's like Bowser. <laughs> Bowser like punches, which is kind of cool. Uh, so you also have Daisy, which is also very cool. I enjoyed that one. Hero of Hyrule, very, very interesting. I love Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild myself. Uh, so courage, power, wisdom uh, abound in this new tag on the legendary hero's tunic. Enjoy a new kind of gameplay uh, with the included master sword and Hylian shield. Press L in the direction of an enemy's attack to block it with perfect timing. So it's kind of like a parry. Never done it before, but that would be pretty cool. And of course, you've got uh, Samus. Uh, power suit of the famed galactic bounty hunter. With its beam firing arm cannon, this suit is everything a girl needs to overcome in hospitable alien terrain. Press Y to fire and the arm mounted beam cannon. You can also hold down to lower and raise the suit's visor. So that's actually really exciting for me. I think throughout this entire Let's Play, we are going to don the Triforce. We're going to get the Hylian Tunic, Master Sword, and of course the Hylian Shield. We're going to do that throughout this Let's Play. And I think that's going to be pretty fun. It's going to make it unique, it's going to make it Nintendo. And I'm ready for that. Let's go play with that costume and let's go from there. Okay, so of course from here you can change the difficulty if things get too hard. Don't worry about it. You guys are going to be fine. Uh, options. Uh, the only thing I did in options off screen was turn the brightness on uh, all the way up. Because last thing I want is like to not see something and like squint my eyes through it. But of course we are here. So let's do this. We just finished the intro. What did you guys think? Pretty awesome. Uh, and of course, we're going to go into the vestibule right now. So yeah, let's do it. Bayonetta. So Bayonetta, this is going to be the prologue, the vestibule. And then we're going to end off the episode. Then it just goes chapter by chapter. So there's going to be 16 chapters in total. Uh, plus the intro, plus the paralogue, plus the epilogue. So keep that in mind. All right, so we got Platinum Games. Love, love the company. Man, it's a good game. That's Yeah, seriously, like, Wonderful 101. I love that game. Anyway. So this is a unique way of just kind of showing off the credits here, just off of these tombstones. Born in 1975. Looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good hearted souls like us to put these six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this, don't you? If it were me, 
I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> Who is this guy? You can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little f to tell you what. <laughs> well then, adios. I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh, my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. What is even happening? Affinity. because that was underneath there.
<laughs> He's got guns. Okay, now we get to play. Great. So, if you guys are playing in handheld mode, uh, you can touch and hold to move, you can jump, you can evade. Why would you want to play with touch screen? <laughs> it's an option. Uh, we're playing with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. You guys can play with detached Joy-Con controllers. Or, um, you can play with the touch screen. Cool. Uh, touch an enemy, go for it. Uh, yeah. So now we're gonna do a little tutorial. Uh, press the X button to do a quick punch. And of course you can string it together for combos, which is pretty awesome. So I mentioned earlier that it's a lot like the Warriors games, where if you do um, X, A, uh, they're not allowing us to do A yet. All right, so anyway, uh, A uh, is a kick, powerful kick. It's a little bit slow startup, but it's a lot stronger. So if you combine them, you can do a lot more combos. And then there's a little combo uh, section right over here too that you can take a look at. So you can do punch, kick, punch, which is pretty cool. You can do punch, wait, and then punch again to kind of scoop them up in midair. You go punch, wait, kick, and then jump with them and continue the strings of combos in the air, which is awesome. But you can see right over here that there are so many different combos that you guys can do. It's insane. So the real fun part about Bayonetta is learning how to use all of her combos. So anyway, uh, you can dodge uh, by pressing the ZR button, which is pretty cool. Oh man, yikes. So yeah, you can press that uh, ZR button right over here to dodge out of the way. And you're gonna be using that a lot in the game. Uh, right over here, this is witch time. So you can dodge normally, but if you dodge it at like the perfect time, if you do like a perfect dodge, oh like that, and that was definitely not it. If you do a perfect dodge, you'll be able to activate witch time. So let's give it a shot. Come on, man, I clearly did it. Well, I gotta go way earlier than I think. It's not like frame perfect, but it is uh, It is pretty interesting. So then, once you're in witch time, you move like twice as fast and the enemies like slowed down, which is pretty cool. So anyway, so here we go, let's do some work. So we have some halos over here. It's the in-game currency that you use in, er in order to purchase stuff, make Bayonetta stronger, buy items, etc., etc. But since we're donning the Hylian tunic, they're not halos in this game, but they're actually rupees from The Legend of Zelda that make rupee noises, which is super cool. So anyway. So anyway, we did a little bit of witch time right there, which is pretty great. Uh, we're gonna finish this guy off. Oh, hold R to lock on. Oh, I got hit. So yeah, that's, oh, pretty great. I didn't realize you could, that's awesome. I should do that more. I wanna like grab him. Yeah, like that, that's so fun. That reminds me of, what game does that remind me of? Oh, I clearly dodged that, but sure. There we go, a little bit of witch time. So you'll also notice in this game that um, y when an enemy's weapon flashes nice and yellow like that, uh, an attack is gonna be coming. And if you're playing with the sound like really up, you can also recognize the sound effect that it makes before they swing an attack at you. Boom, awesome. Let's see if we can pop this up, this guy up and do an aerial. 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. So the way you pop up enemies is pressing punch, waiting a quick second, and then pressing punch again. Uh, right over here, you can easily get these guys uh, simply by holding down the Y button. The Y button is pretty much a shot, and it's just like infinite bullets. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, so fire uh, by holding the X button. If you hold a punch or a kick, not only will you do the punch, but you'll also uh, continue to shoot a little bit more, like extend it. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, so if you have a lot of these guys around, do a quick circle and then press a punch. And then you can, um, yeah, you can move around. It's called Bullet Climax. And then once you're uh, ready, you can keep on pressing the punch button. And you can, like, fire at everyone. Just infinitely, which is pretty cool. And if you do it with kicks, she's, like, on her... <laughs> How is that? Is that awesome or what? It's the coolest thing, man. Anyway. So here we go. We're gonna go upside down. And just pretty much stay there and destroy those guys. And we're gonna dodge that for some witch time. No, not yet. Clearly dodge it, but that's okay. Like, we're too early in the tutorial stage right now for uh, the points or anything to really matter. The more you play the game, you'll get uh, different health meters, you'll get different bars, uh, etc. And it's cool, just like if you guys have played Super Smash Bros. Bayonetta, then you guys know that she has those crazy aerial combo games. And you can do the exact same thing in this game too, and I'm, and I'm super happy to show you guys. There we go. And we're collecting all of our rupees too. Oh, hey, here we go. Picking up my rupee and let's get out of here. So uh, Bayonetta can also do a double jump, which is pretty awesome. She can wall jump as well. Chun Li over here. So you can see that there's a boss on screen over here. Uh, and that one, whenever that happens on screen, that means that you've done an achievement. Uh, so yeah, you can take a look at achievements in the regular uh, section of the game at the beginning, the title screen. Oh, I clearly dodged that, but sure. There we go. And like Chun Li with those kicks. Boom! Big kick. <laughs> it's great, man. Okay, so uh, at the beginning, or sorry, at the end of each of these verses, you get great. Should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the f do I always get wrapped up in this? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Eggman? Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about Eggman? 
such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! Wow, what a guy. So anyway, the rating system. Uh, depending on how well you do, combos, how many times you get hit. It's good. first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha! Come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm <laughs> working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair. And figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. <laughs> After jewels instead of cash. Just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus. Can't you take a joke? Enzo. Someone's given you a present. Hey, too bad. I can't stand bugs. Okay, so now we got a magic gauge, which is pretty sweet. 
Oh, I got hit. I can't believe I got hit right here, man. And we can do uh, torture attacks now, which is pretty great. So whenever you fill up these little blue circles with attacks, uh, you can do a torture attack, which is pretty much a one-hit KO on him. So we can unleash it any on anyone, like this guy right here. And you get more points if you spam the A button uh, when it asks for it. Boom! Got him! Okay, so we got some sort of item that you can co co uh, concoct together. You got a unicorn horn. Okay, some more collectibles. Consumables, of course. This guy's just in the air. So I gotta get my meter full and then do a couple more torture attacks. Clearly dodged it, but sure. See, I'm not gonna get a good grade on this one because I got hit a lot. And every time you get hit, you're gonna lose your torture meter. And if you do like even more witch time, uh, dodges, you'll absolutely get uh, more of your meter in. So I got a silver medal, yeah, because I took a lot of damage. But e either way, I mean, the best you can get is a pure platinum, and I'm definitely not going to get pure platinums all throughout this game. It's my first time playing through this entire thing. How does that land on that? And she chucked him head first. But this game is really over the top anyway, so. Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans. We've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep f around like this. The Book of Revelations is going to look like Mother Goose. Heaven and hell are going to go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too brazen. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. I 
I got a little present for you. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, because they're one of a kind. I don't go in for strange offers. <laughs> then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class. Pounding them down tonight, baby. Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. Such a tiny little little what drink. What's going on your tab, buddy? <sighs> you did be Mamma Mia! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have beaten the prologue. Uh, we get a little bit of bonus uh, due to not using any items. Uh, we got a gold award, not really the greatest, but you know what? It doesn't matter because we're not going for perfection here. A lot of people love doing it, and that's the replayability about this game, is that you can go through and replay all these chapters, try for higher scores, not taking any damage, doing some massive combos, and getting your pure platinum award, right? Super cool, right? I think so. I think so. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, before we actually end off the level, you can go and play some Angel Attack, which is kind of cool. You'll pick up some bullets every now and then, and what we can do is we can play this little mini game uh, where you fire targets and you can indeed uh, get some points and you trade in the points for some extra um, items in the game. So that's pretty sweet. I don't want to get that done. What, did I miss that? Dang it! All right, you know, not even worth it, dude. You can get some headshots off these guys if you're very, very careful. And it's like super sensitive. Yeah, I didn't get anything. I'm just gonna wait. All right, he's gonna come right now. There we go, headshot, boom, headshot. Double kill. There's another headshot, and let me get this guy. You can kind of predict where they're going, but I wasted too many shots in that thing in the background. So anyway, you got 35 points. Uh, with the points, you can absolutely buy some items. Uh, candy, such as a healing item. Uh, this one is recovering your magic power. This one is raising your attack. Uh, and of course, uh, getting like invincibility, which is cool. Blue Witch's Heart, uh, only effective in the next chapter. Uh, Gold Moon Pearl, only effective in the next chapter. Mega... I mean, it goes on, so on and so forth. You've got a hot shot that is like a revive. It's like an auto revive. And then the magic flute um, causes heavy damage to nearby angels. So that's kind of cool. Of course, I'm actually not in any need of these. So I'm going to aim for exchanging those points for more halos. Because later on in the game, you're going to need thousands upon thousands of halos in order to unlock some new moves for Bayonetta, some new items etc etc i'll show you guys that in a little bit but anyway uh that is going to be it for today's episode we will continue on with these uploads if you guys want to see them so do your part and smash the like button if you guys want to see some more uh you guys can absolutely uh, change costumes every now and then we really didn't use any of link's parry move or anything like that 
Uh, so you can change the costumes whenever you want to. You can go over to any of the chapters and replay them at any given time. And we're going to pretty much leave it at that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the episode. Did you guys enjoy it? I hope you did. We've got um, even more. Even more Bayonetta coming right at you. So, bear with it. It's going to be super fun. So... If you guys want, you guys can continue watching our playlist on screen over here. Take a look at the newest video on the channel there. Recommendations that way, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If this series goes very well, I may end up doing a full Let's Play of Bayonetta 2, since that game also came out on the, on the Nintendo Switch. So, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.